We begin the news at five with an arrest and a disturbing act of animal cruelty. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Charlotte McBride. And I'm Lorenzo Hall. An attack on a dog that seemed to come out of nowhere and it was all caught on camera. Take a look at this, but first I should warn you the video you are about to see is pretty disturbing. The suspect crossing the street there in Northwest DC and then winds up to kick someone's dog. We're gonna stop it right there. Police say the man in this video has been captured. He is behind bars. And our Matthew Torres is live in the Palisades community where it all happened. Hey there, Matthew. Hey, Sharla, and that's why animal groups say it is important to report to police and post any videos on social media, even though you may think it's just an animal. It was at this corner where that dog was attacked unprovoked, but thanks to surveillance cameras nearby, a suspect is under arrest. We're only going to show the impact once. This man captured on surveillance video walking up to two people at the corner with the small dog. You see him swiftly kicking the dog in the stomach area and walking away. It's crazy. That's absolutely nuts. You don't know what's going on with a lot of people nowadays, man. I mean, this has just been a crazy time, crazy period. It happened on March 5th at the corner of MacArthur Boulevard in 48th place in Northwest DC. But it wasn't until Thursday when DC police charged 43 year old Andrew Taylor for cruelty to animals. Okay, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not cool. I mean, I feel like they should get a taste of their own medicine. I'm not going to lie. The dog, a one and a half year old Havapu named Winnie, did not suffer injuries, according to investigators. But the owner still reported it to police who say they've had numerous interactions with Taylor in the past. It's not something that we've seen. The Humane Rescue Alliance in D.C., which investigates animal abuse and cruelty, says random attacks like these are rare. But there's a lesson to learn. I don't want to make it seem like people need to be fearful every time they take their dogs for a walk. Uh, but I think it is a good reminder that, you know, you don't know what people's intentions are. Animal advocates stress while unprovoked incidents aren't frequent, people have become more alert to call police. We have more tools to talk about it. And very importantly, law enforcement is taking it seriously. We should do it for the animal's benefit, but we should also do it for the benefit of a civil and humane society in general. When we protect animals, we protect people as well. Now, I did speak to the dog owner. She didn't want to be interviewed on camera. She did say she just got x-rays for the dog at the Humane Rescue Alliance. Uh, she also says she knew something was wrong when she heard the dog yelp, but didn't realize how bad the experience was until she saw the video recently. Reporting live in Northwest, I'm Matthew Torres, WUSA 9. Yeah, clearly that man needs some help, and hopefully he gets the right kind of help. Matthew, thank you.